Hello, James McHale with ABC News. Up to 200 education support and service staff will walk off the job when school returns next month to protest against the state government's remaining cuts. The community and public sector union says while they expect impact on classrooms to be limited, they've warned it's just the start of a wave of industrial action which will be rolled out until the government backs down. The government's come under a lot of pressure over its education funding cuts and it's still not over. It capitulated and reversed some decisions but one union's decided to go ahead and strike over hundreds of cuts to jobs. Our delegates voted that they'll commence industrial action on the 1st of February. That will be our members in headquarters in Silver City and other regional and support services walking off the job at lunchtime. The union expects up to 200 education and support staff, mainly from the Education Department's East Perth headquarters, to take part. And while it doesn't expect it to cause major disruption to classrooms as school returns, it's warned it's just the start. So this action will kick off action that will go statewide and will impact schools. If this is the start of further industrial action, then that absolutely is a significant concern to me and to the Liberal opposition. The government's not just facing pushback from the unions. Others, particularly in the country, are still vowing to fight the remaining 41 million in education funding cuts, including the closure of Mora Residential College. And the opposition's in on the fight. It is time to look at all of these cuts and to reverse them. They have to go back to the drawing board. Uh, clearly they have been met with opposition right across Western Australia. The government says its decision to backflip on 23 million in cuts shows it listens to the community, but has indicated further reversals are unlikely. Education Minister Sue Ellery declined to comment, but last week urged union delegates to consider limiting the disruption caused to children returning to school if they decide to take industrial action. Jessica Strutt, ABC News.